Hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I am going to be bringing you my team project pan update. Um, a few changes going forward with it. I've decided to bring it back to um, a 10 product rolling style project pan if that makes sense. I've already used up 20 products in this project so I'm delighted with that. Um, but I just, as I have already said in my close out my skincare and mission 100% cruelty free project pans video I just want to enjoy joining in more if that makes sense I absolutely adore this community it is if you're watching this video because you like project pan content and you'd love to do it yourself please do it pick up your phone and start recording because I will tell you now you will not meet a nicer kinder more lovely community than this community it's just so supportive and fun and we're all in it together kind of a community so if you're thinking about it just do it because it's been the best decision i've made this year so far anyway um so yeah i'm bringing it back to 10 products rolling style and i'll show you the 10 products that some are still in and some i've brought in because i've finished others um so yeah, we'll kind of. I'll start with the empties first, and then I'll go through the products, uh, my progress, and then I will show you the products I'm running. Okay. So first and foremost, I'm going to give you my Dune Christian Dior Dune perfume. So this came in at the very start of the year. Um, if you saw those videos at the start of the year, you'll know that this is one of my favorite scents ever. It, it, it's been with me since my teenage years. My dad, God rest him, used to always buy it for me for Christmas, which is, you know, holds a really special part, place in my heart. But uh, unfortunately, in recent years, I've been suffering more and more with migraines, and this unfortunately triggers it. Not just this, any kind of heavy scent triggers them. So how I used this up was I sprayed it into my wardrobe. So I would open up the doors of the wardrobe at night, spray it in, close the doors of the wardrobe, and then the next morning my clothes would just have a hint of the fragrance. So not overpowering or anything like that, but just a hint. And other times what I might do is spray it down at the back of my knees. So again, it's not close enough to my nose to trigger a migraine, but yet, you know, you can kind of get the scent of it. So which is whether it's finished. At the moment, I don't know if I'll repurchase it or not because, like I said, it's disappointing that it triggers migraines and I can't see them going away anytime soon. Uh, but it's it's a bit bittersweet, if I'm being honest. I might even keep onto the bottle just for memory's sake and try and use um, nail polish remover just to get off the marks. Now that I have my washi tape, I won't need to do that anymore. Oh, no, I thought I do have it there. Look at me. I'm so fancy. So that is my perfume finished. Uh, next up we have a couple of mascaras. I'll put them all in together so we blow through this fairly quickly. Number 7, uh, 360 uh, mascara. The full 360 all around incredible lashes. There was nothing incredible about my lashes if I'm being very honest. Kind of banana shaped bristle, natural bristle wand. Didn't do anything special to my lashes and I've said it before, number seven mascara isn't exactly cheap. It can go up to 20 euros. And to me, for something that's not luxury, you know, um, and isn't particularly good, where do they get off with the price? Like, I just, I, I, I think I'm done now with number seven mascaras. I get kind of sucked in because they'll have packs of Christmas that are quite good value and they'll have uh, vouchers every so often to be like 7 50 off makeup or, you know, stuff like that or free mascara purchase, things like that. And I get suckered in. I just, I think I need to stop now with the getting suckered in. Uh, next is the uh, Catrice Glamandol False Lashes Mascara, the waterproof one. That's grand. You know, it, it wasn't anything amazing, uh, but it wasn't anything horrendous either. Again, we kind of have a banana kind of shaped wand, but we have plastic bristles on this one. It's always hard to show off kind of mascara wands. Um, yeah, it's fine. Like, I need waterproof mascara because my eyes stream like... God knows what, in the in the summertime especially, but even in the winter. Like if it's very bright and sunny out in the winter, my eyes will be streaming. Um, 
but because it's it's affordable you know what i mean what a catrice mascara is there five six seven eight euros depending on which one you go for so at that price i'm okay if it doesn't set my world on fire um but i won't keep it around if it's completely crap all right uh next up the label is gone off this because i used it so much it's an ash brown it was from makeup revolution i think it was i think they had like a cbd line maybe or something loved that it was a small little bristle brush that really appeals to me because i have no eyebrows do you see anything i have there that's drawn on i am a child no no that's not true i'm a teenager of the 90s which means i plucked the bejesus out of my eyebrows and was left with nothing why does hair grow everywhere else in your body everywhere everywhere by your eyebrows and sometimes my lashes as well my lashes belong why is that this i am very proud of this is <laughs> i can't even get it out of the plastic this is my teeny tiny little nyx eye pencil now again if you happen to be here at the start of this project or even at the last update i was giving up on this i was getting it out of my collection i was done with it i was over it and then i read the comments and so many of you said to use it as a base and that is what i did and i flew through it and it actually worked really well to the point i nearly even consider repurchasing it but uh, next we have an eyebrow pencil. This is the Essence Super Last 24 Hour Eyebrow Pomade Pencil and it claims to be waterproof. Um, this is it here. We'll get there yet, lads. Um, so it has a little uh, sharpener doodle at the end and also a little smudger brush, which is kind of shite. Um, and yeah, it's all she all done it was a fine pencil look at it. it's essence it's cheap and cheerful so you know if i was in a pinch and, and i had forgotten a brow pencil or something like that fantastic i would repurchase uh, my favorite currently is from la girl the shady slim pencil um really like that pencil it just it's a good price cheaper than the next one and but a similar kind of pencil and i quite enjoy it uh, next up, we have my Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. Uh, does it tell me what shade you were in? Zinnia, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, this is it here. Quite like these um, lip balms. I've heard somebody else, maybe Hayley, was it you, Hayley, um, that wasn't enjoying the Burt's Bees lip balms? But over here, they're lovely. They're not waxy at all. They're actually quite creamy and lovely and hydrating. I even went in with a lip pencil, uh, well no, that's a lie, I don't have any lip pencils, it was a small eyeshadow brush, and got right down in there and got every last bit of it out. Uh, it was lovely, like the cap on it there, just a very slight hint to it, and uh, super comfortable and just really, really nice. Um, I have, I think, another one in a different colour. So yeah, really, really liked that and would repurchase. And Hayley, I'm so sorry for your troubles, because... They're lovely here. Uh, Bondi Sands. Now, you will remember, especially you, Katie, me shaking this aggressively at the camera because I hadn't used it. Okay, this sounds like there's a little bit in there. There's nothing in there. I've used this up completely. So, what with the uh, arrival of summer in Ireland, and by summer, I mean two days of the year that we go above 20 degrees. Um, everyone and their mother has their dresses out and their legs out and it's fantastic and we're all tanning the bejesus out of ourselves and you know trying to be as tangled as possible uh, this is actually quite nice it's um, it's one of those tans that has a green hue to it so it gives a kind of an olive tan which I find suits me personally um, it's not it never goes orange or tangoey on me for all my blue garden it, we never look like I never looked like an umpa lump on it. It was it was absolutely lovely. Um, but you know what? This size is more than adequate for me because I just don't use tan. I prefer gradual tanners. I love the cream, you know, like a lotion uh, that you put on at night like it's your regular lotion. And over a couple of days, your tan deepens. I tried to wash this bottle out and obviously I've made a right mess of it because it's going everywhere. Um, anyway done, dusted, happy out, another product done.
Uh, Pantene, Pantene, however you want to pronounce it, Pro V 3 Minute Miracle Superfood, full and strong. Pro V Blend Antioxidants Lipids Conditioner. Here it is here. Uh, I found this very good in my hair if I'm being honest with you I really enjoyed it um, I have others in the range to try I think it's smooth and sleek and a repair and protect uh, but this superfood one was actually fantastic um, pity they're not cruelty free but needs most at the moment unfortunately so until I find something that is cruelty free that is as good unfortunately I'll have to keep using them if you have any suggestions I don't have is it not your mother's I think you call it our Shea Moisture which I know are good brands but they're very hard to get over here so I'm a tad limited so if, if you're over this side of the water and you know of something that's affordable and effective in a repairing mask I'd appreciate it. Uh, Tresemme heat defense spray with the UV filter care and protect seals in shine uh, up to 230 degrees heat protection. Here is it here worked just fine it's lovely it smells okay i hate using sprays because i just this is the oddest thing i love face mists love them hate the feel of a hair product being sprayed on and hitting the back of my neck explain that to me it's like that weird thing where i hate tomatoes but love ketchup adore chocolate can't stand chocolate ice cream I'm an enigma. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm tempted to keep this bottle just so I can sniff it every so often. This was the Shea Moisture Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Energizing Body Bath Body and Massage Oil for dry and dull skin. This was the most beautiful product I have ever had. And to say that I'm devastated at the fact that I can no longer get it is not an exaggeration. Like, I am devastated. Like, this is heartbreaking to me. This, oh Jesus, it's the most beautiful smell, guys. I can't even explain. We can't get it in Ireland anymore. I've had a look online. I went on Amazon and I even had to look at, at American stores to see if anyone over there could get it for me and send it over. But it, it seems to be gone completely. The range itself seems to be gone out of Ireland that I can see. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're relaunching. I don't know. But I am heartbroken because this was just the most beautiful smell that I've ever sniffed in my life. Apart from the Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream because it's kind of gorgeous too. And this one is actually a declutter. I don't like to declutter much but I just don't like this. This is the Vichy Mask Peel Double Eclat. Um, I'm sure there's, yes, of course there's an English version. Dub Glow Peel Mask, there we go. With Volcanic Rock and EHA. There's just something about this I don't enjoy. Uh, you're supposed to put it on, you're supposed to leave it on for about five minutes and then kind of nearly turn it into a scrub on your face. It's just not for me. I've used it a couple of times. I feel like my skin gets very sensitive after using it. Um, it's only a small little pot, but I have a couple of them. But look, I'm going to declutter them. Hopefully somebody else will get a use out of them. Um, but yeah, it's just not for me. So I'm just, I'm going to declutter. I have a little declutter pile over there. Right, progression time. So first up, we have my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youthful Glow. Um, this is it here. If you can see. I tried to scrape it a bit earlier. We are getting right down to the very bottom. I'd say I'm nearly down to here with it. Now there's loads of scraping to do around the sides. Uh, I'm in the shade 3 light medium. I will be very sad when this is finished because this actually is a beautiful product. It's the only product of hers that I own that I would rate. It's the only one that I feel is worth the hype. I have a few other products by her by few one two three four including this five had a lip liner six so i had about six products from her and i feel she's overrated i really do and the price is just ridiculous but this is a beautiful product um I would like to repurchase it, but I don't trust the brand at the moment. I feel that some of their practice at the moment have been quite shady and quite um, 
I don't know. I just don't trust them. So I'm not purchasing from them at the moment. I don't know if they're cruelty free or not. What I would love to do is buy the Auric. The one by Samantha Ravendall. Um, so maybe when that comes back into stock, I will look into purchasing it. Because uh, I really like Sam. I think she's, she's, I've always enjoyed her as a, as a YouTuber. Um, and I'd like to support her over Charlotte. So and that is that oh it was when this came in originally it was at 127 grams and now it's down to 114.65 so making nice steady progress on that one so i'm happy with that uh revlon concealer is still tipping away it's very hard to see i've put it in water and everything um but it just coats the wall so much uh, so I'm going off the weight on this, 19.44 uh, when it came in in January and we're at 16.87 now. As I explained in other videos, I haven't worn an awful lot of makeup lately. I'm only getting back into it again. So the progress hasn't been phenomenal in some of these products, but that's fine. We're still making progress. It's slow and steady and I'm happy with it. Um, my Charlotte Tilbury powder. So here's another product by Charlotte. Um, 57.33 at the introduction and it's now at 55.57 so here she is here blinding you and this is how we're looking so we have a nice pan and it's it's working away nicely it's it's moving um i'm not a fan of this powder it's fine it's fine don't get me wrong but it's not amazing to me i have it it's the airbrush airbrush air brush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder in one fair the nice thing about it is the compact when this product is gone i would probably uh press something else into it that will look pretty in it um but i just don't i don't understand the hype behind this product i have cheaper powders uh from the likes of catrice and essence and you know other brands that just as good just as good in my opinion if you if it is your holy grail live and die powder i'm thrilled for you i am so thrilled for you because i wish i had something like that uh but it's not for me so uh next i have my spf so we're still going strong with that in my little tape um so this is nervous pump so it's pushing up the way so we started um here then we went to here and now we're up to here. Obviously in summer we're using a bit more of it. Um, came in at 158.56 and we're now at 133.51. This is from an Irish brand. Uh, Jennifer Rock is the owner of the brand and it's Skin Ingredients. Skin Shield SPF 50 PA++++ Broad Spectrum Light Protection. Um, and... I know you're thinking to yourself now, Ruth, that somewhere, how come if you haven't used more? I only use this when I'm wearing makeup. I have other SPFs for the face that are rubbish under makeup. So I keep them for the days that I'm just potting around the garden or going for walks or whatever it is. But if I'm wearing makeup, this is the one I use because it sits beautifully. Makeup just sits beautifully on top of it. And I find that a really hard thing to come by in SPFs. So if you know of something that's affordable, because this is nearly 50 euros, and even at that, the Cheeky Pops have brought out, uh, had discontinued this size one, brought out a smaller size, so this is 100 ml, so I think the new one is 75 ml, but it's the same price. Not impressed, not a bit impressed. So it's kind of turned me off that brand, because I feel like they're, they're being a bit cheeky. Uh, next we have, uh, is this next, yes it is, the Max, Founder, Max Factor Foundation. So this is going really well as you can see. Now I am doing a little project on my own at the moment which I'm hoping to um, record down the line. And it is me going through each of my categories in my collection and getting my fully formed thoughts on them so um i'm doing a foundation one at the moment in the process so i haven't used this and plus i haven't been wearing makeup so i haven't used it as much as i would have liked to but that's okay because i really enjoy it it's a pain in the arse that it's not um cruelty free because it is actually one i would repurchase in a heartbeat because it's actually lovely on the skin 
uh, skin perfecting foundation with hyaluronic acid so i don't know if it's that that's in it that's really nice i've even put in the ingredient list into um google to see if i could get something that would come up with similar but i can't find anything um so this came in at 46.95 originally and that was back in february and it's now at 42.2 so steady progress uh what else oh my primer primer water um so preps skin for makeup application hydration and refreshing so this is kind of their like a dupe of the smashbox primer right primer water so came in up here last update was here and now we're down to there so again making steady progress i uh, came in at 107.64 in february and we're now at 125 0.45 happy progress <laughs> this see this this is the wet and wild gel liner pencil we're definitely making plenty of progress because look at there's only a little number left in it and yet apparently i'm still only at six grams what i mean by that is it came in at six grams update six grams next update six grams and this update six grams and i have like the 0 0.00 scale so i don't understand i'm using it there's wear on it and yet here we are um it is in the shade uh, never petal down it's a very pretty little pink shade um i'm wearing it at the moment underneath the lipstick there it is there uh, yeah i really like it um Pity that they're not cruelty free anymore. That's a bit vexing, but sure, there you go, you'll have that. Um, so yeah, I don't understand what's happening there with the weight, but I have no doubt I will finish this product off and it will still say it's six. Uh, next up is my roll-in. So I have only three roll-ins because that'll bring me up to ten, won't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I can count. Good girl, birthday. So first up is the Essence Make Me Brow. Um Let's put these back down for a minute. Uh, Make Me Brow Gel, Mascara and Filling Fibres uh, in O2 Brownie Browns. Brownie Brows. <laughs> um, I do love a good pun in the name, I have to say. Um, so yeah, this is it here. It has a nice little skinny little doodah wand, which I always enjoy, as I said. Uh, so she's coming in. I'd be very honest, this will probably be here till the end of the year. And that is fine also coming in is another product from darlings charlotte tilbury it is the legendary lashes volume two you can't see it because we're all bedazzled with the packaging oh look at the eyes can you see the eyes i mean it's pretty packaging but here we are now there's the number seven and there's the and they feel the exact same there's nothing Patrice one feels the same. So nothing particularly looks about the packaging. The only packaging I've really noticed a difference with was the um, Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. There was a real heft to that packaging. You know what I mean? There was a real substance there. Uh, this is in black vinyl. Uh, this is what the wand looks like. So it's not... Um, it's quite a street wand, if I'm being honest. You're so used to like... Um, hourglass and banana shapes and all that kind of thing but this is just a straight one but it is a, a natural bristle wand again another one of her products that i've heard loads of people talk about i do have it on today but i don't think it does anything particularly special i have a waterproof mascara on over it she doesn't do waterproof mascaras because she doesn't believe in them obviously she's never dealt with allergies um so apparently this is like a tube of mascara, but it doesn't come off like a tube of mascara, so I'm perplexed. But anyway, I think she says that um, waterproof mascaras are harsher on your lashes, but anyway, um, as you can tell, I'm not, I'm not a darling fan, I'm just not. She's just irritated me over the years. Um, but yes, this is coming in, all that rambling. I keep my mascaras three to four months because I do have very sensitive eyes. So I don't like to go over that. If it gets very dry and flaky, it really irritates my eyes. So we'll just see how she goes. Uh, last but by no means least is the XX Revolution Faux Brow in Deep Brown. I'm loving the packaging from this XX Revolution 9. But 
I am finding that the products themselves are not worth the price tag. So the XX Revolution line is quite a bit more expensive. And while the packaging is beautiful, I feel that's where the money has gone into is the packaging. I don't feel that the products themselves are any better at all than their regular Revolution line. So that's just my opinion on it. You'll have to let me know if you have a different one. Um, so this is, oh, it's very hard to see, I think. Is there any way to see it? Probably not. It's like, it's thick, obviously. There's a bit of a triangle kind of shape to it. Um, it's okay. It's not the best in the world. It's not the worst. Um, I will use it up. I do like the little toothbrush on the end. Um, I know a lot of them are doing this and yeah I, I like how it distributes product but I still end up going through it with a spoolie at the end right let's wrap it up Ruth you've been here way too long um, so that is my update on this um, I'm happy with how this project is going I feel like especially now because look it's been what two and a half months since the last update so you know three months I'm not sure um, good progress happy with it Happy to be doing a 10 rolling style from here on out so that the videos for you will be a bit shorter because I'm sure you're probably all clicked off by now. If you've stayed, thanks a million. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I'll go for now and I will hopefully chat to you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Slán.